What's up, P.O. Sim? Today you got Poke Game here, and I'm narrating a standard 5th gen match between Taylor and Somalia. Those two are pretty reasonably well known, and uh, they're actually using pretty interesting teams. Taylor, I believe, is utilizing the uh, not really new, but the new, I guess, Moxie Mints, I guess you could say new. And uh, Somalia is using some interesting sets, so let's get right into this match. Somalia is going to be leading off with his Landris as Taylor is going to be leading off with his Heat Ran. Taylor does not want to lose his Heat Ran just yet, so he's going to switch directly out into his Dragonite, which will be able to uh, dodge this incoming Earthquake. And Taylor's actually fearing this uh, Landris to be the extra belt since that is really common. So what he's going to do is he actually just can go straight for the uh, Waterfall right here, as Somalia is actually going to switch out into his Vaporeon just to take whatever hit that this Dragonite wanted to go for. So. Uh, Taylor's going to switch out into his Metagross as Vaporeon naturally goes for the Scald, and unfortunately he does get the burn. I mean, Scald isn't like a 3 KO, but because it did get this burn on this Metagross, it is pretty much going to render it useless throughout this entire match. So, expecting uh, Somalia to switch, Taylor's going to go for the Trick as he does end up going out into his Apalon, which is uh, good for Taylor because it does cripple a tank right here, but at the same time, like I said, his Metagross is burnt, so it won't really be doing anything besides uh, tricking this Apalon and setting up his Stealth Rocks on this turn. So Taylor is going to set up his Stealth Rocks as Somalia is able to uh, get up his Rocks right here, and because Somalia is locked into the Stealth Rocks, he's going to have to switch out his Apalon, so he's going to end up switching out into his... Um, Vaporeon as Taylor's actually going to end up switching out into his Starmie. So they're in a good position right here. This Starmie does threaten this Vaporeon with the possible Thunderbolt. And at the same time, he could actually um, end up Rapid Spinning away the Stealth Rocks, which is great because there's going to be a lot of switches in this match. So Rapid Spin is going to be favorable. So Somalia is actually going to go for the Protect just to scout what Taylor wants to do as Taylor's just going to go for the Rapid Spin. And if he wanted... Uh, Somalia could predict the uh, Rapid Spin again, go for the Scald, get us some damage, possibly get a burn, but at the same time, who really cares, because that wouldn't re really be doing anything to Starmie, who probably also has to recover, so he's actually going to switch out into his Jirachi, knowing he could take any hit, as uh, Taylor just goes for the Rapid Spin again, because he does have that Dragonite with the Multiscale Scale and a Salamence on his team, both of which would be taking 25% from the Stealth Rocks, so he does not want them on the field, so Taylor's going to be forced to switch out, this Jirachi is probably special defensive, so he can't do anything to it so he's gonna go on to his heat rant as Somalia either predicts the switch or knows he can just take on this uh, Starmie one-on-one -on -one, so he goes for the u-turn so he ends up uh you turning out into his landers again this is gonna threaten Taylor with the earthquake so Taylor's gonna switch out into his Metagross pretty much as death fodder like I said because it is burnt it's use it's a useless mod at this point and since uh Taylor doesn't have a heal better on his team there's nothing he could do about that so the Metagross is gonna go down to the earthquake Taylor sees this opportunity to go into his Dragon Dance uh, Salamence, which is great for Taylor because uh, DD Ment is actually a pretty big threat. It's not usually used just because uh, it's not as used as much as it was used in 4th Gen where it got banned. In 4th Gen, man, Salamence was a big threat. But yeah, he is able to get up a Dragon Dance as Somalia is going to go out into his Vaporeon. And uh, Taylor's not really fearing anything. He's going to go for the Dragon Claw. It's not going to be able to KO this Vaporeon, but because uh, Taylor is carrying the Yachi Berry, he will be able to live this Vaporeon's uh, Ice Beam. So what Taylor really could have done right here was uh, Dragon Dance a second time as opposed to Dragon Clawing back then and uh, get to plus two, which after knocking out this Vaporeon and which getting plus three from the Moxie, he will be able to outspeed this Scarf Landorus that uh, Somalia is going to go into and not really sweep his team because um, I guess Hippowdon, if it was max defense, max HP impish, it only takes a little bit over 55% from uh, Dragon Claw at plus 3 Salamence. So I don't really know what I was talking about. In any case, Landorus is going to come in. It is Scarf. He's going to be able to uh, just not revenge kill this uh, Salamence with the Hidden Power Ice. Taylor's going to go out into his uh, Heat Rain knowing that this Landorus is locked in HP Ice. Going to go for that Fire Blast. And the way it KOs this Hippowdon, that Heat Rain is uh, definitely uh, specs because uh, Fire Blast from Heat Rain would not have been able to KO this Hippowdon if he wasn't specs. So Somalia is going to go right back out into his Landorus. Taylor's fearing the Earthquake. But at this point, uh, Somalia had been playing pretty... Uh, safe so I guess if if I was Taylor in that position I probably would have stayed in Fire Blast again as uh, Somalia is going to predict the switch goes for the U-turn he is able to break that Dragonite's multi-scale and of course with the sand that's going to break it even further and uh 
So Somali's Verizion doesn't have uh, leftovers, which should have hinted to Taylor that it is Life Orb, and Life Orb HP Ice would be able to knock out Dragonite at that range. If uh, if he wasn't Life Orb, Dragonite would have been able to live and get off a hefty chunk of damage, but no, he is Life Orb. Taylor's going to go out into his Terrakion. Unfortunately, Verizion does win the speed tie, and because Somalia is uh, running a very cool mixed Verizion, which is uh, very underrated and very good because at plus two, it does KO Special Defensive Jirachi, which does... Uh, um, wall Verizion, he's able to knock out that Terrakion, and because he did win that speed tie, it's pretty much Verizion's going to be able to do work, so um, Taylor goes out into his Starmie, double switches into his Heatran, expecting uh, Somalia to go out into his Jirachi, but Somalia has really no reason to switch, because at this point, once this Verizion goes down, it's a Scarf Landorus Earthquake sweep, so he ends up going for the Giga Drain on the Heatran, he's going to go for the Close Combat right here, that will be able to uh, knock out this Heatran, and Taylor's going to be down to his last Pokemon, which is his uh, Starmie, so at after the defense drop, Starmie will be able to just go for the Surf, and they'll easily be able to knock out that Verizion, but um, Taylor's down to his last Pokemon, like I said, which is his Starmie, and Somalia has three Pokemon left at this point, I believe... Uh, Jirachi or uh, Landorus could end it right here. So he's just going to go into his Landorus, just going to be able to uh, knock him out with an earthquake, and that is good game. So, yeah, good game, Taylor. Good game, Somalia. Pretty interesting teams on both sides. I hope you guys all enjoyed this narration. If you do, feel free to leave a like, check out my channel, and of course, sub to uh, PO Sim if you're not. So, till next time, guys. Later. Cool.